Hello, everybody. I am just trying to get things set up here for a Wednesday workout that's going to be outside um, part of the time. So um, we're looking at no rain today, so that's a positive, obviously. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to do five things. The first four things can be done, obviously, inside. It can be done in your driveway, garage, front yard, outside as well, uh, if you'd like to be. Um, but we're going to kind of go through these four exercises. Uh, you don't have to do... For instance, uh, I'm asking you to do three sets and three sets and two and two. You don't have to do a set and then take a rest for your second set. What you can do is you can almost superset these things. So you can do a, one set of this and then one set of that and then one set and one set and come back to the top. So it's a concept that we've done over and over again. Just want to kind of give it, review it really quickly. Uh, our first exercise today is going to be called an accordion. Okay, and we're going to do three sets of 12 repetitions on an accordion. An accordion is just like just like that music instrument you might have ever seen before. Uh, this exercise particularly for your core, for your abs. So you would be on the floor, um, and you would be long like an accordion would, like stretched apart. Your heels would be off the ground, or your legs would be straight off the ground, your arms would also be off the ground, and then you would crunch and get your legs together. So you come together like an accordion. Then you get long again, legs long, arms long, and then come together again. Okay? So we're trying to do 12 accordions per set. So we're going to do three sets of 12 on the accordion. Um, we would also do get off on our uh, get off the floor, get on our feet for air squats. Air squats is just that. It's a squat down. Uh, we're not having any resistance, we're not holding on to anything. Uh, we're simply going down uh, to a, a, a parallel position, squat position, and coming back up again. Okay? So we want to kind of get our legs flowing a little bit, get some blood flowing to our legs. We're doing three sets of 12 uh, air squats today. Then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, stretch out our, our quads and our hip flexor okay, by doing what's called a couch stretch. And we're going to do that of two sets, 30 seconds each side. So it's going to take a grand total of one minute per set. So I got a box here uh, that's going to uh, substitute a couch for any object for that matter. It could be a, could be your wall, could be anything, uh, but it's something for your, uh, your your quadriceps and your hips. So what you're going to do is you're going to get uh, on the ground and you're just going to do one one side at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my left side. I'm going to bring my left knee as close to that barrier, that couch. In this case, this box is possible. Okay, and it could again could be a wall, but I'm going to get that knee as close to that as possible. I'm almost if too close. You guys will probably get that knee almost pushed up against that wall or that couch or that barrier. And then you simply want to lean back as far as you can. You're going to find a sweet spot for your body, for your muscle length, for your leg length. And you're going to hold that position for 30 seconds. Okay, so that's called a couch stretch. You would then switch to the other side. Uh, if this is super easy, maybe you're super flexible. Uh, my right knee is off in front of my left knee, obviously. But something that could make it a little bit more challenging is to get up on my, my foot and not my knee. And again, continue to, to lean back. Now I can arch just a little bit more. And so that would be a much difficult, a little bit more challenging variation for a couch stretch. For our inchworm, number four, an inchworm is also a stretch. Um, but uh, there's a little more activity involved in it, um, and all we're going to do is ask you to do two sets of just two repetitions. Repetitions take a little bit of time, uh, but this is more for your hamstrings. What you're going to do is you're going to start in a push-up position, and you're going to take your, your feet together, okay, not necessarily glued together, but, but uh, somewhat close to each other, and you're simply going to inch one inch at a time, take small steps as far forward as you can. Some people can inchworm all the way up, they can't inchworm all the way up to where your toes and your, your, your hands are, are basically touching. Okay? So a repetition for an inchworm, again, it's going to be starting here, taking your steps forward, it takes a while, it takes some time, and you max out as far as you can go. Come back down again, taking one inch steps again, back to a normal push up position. That would be one rep. 
and then we come back for a second rep and do it again. Okay? So I wanted to introduce an inchworm to you today, something we haven't done. We'll plug it into tomorrow's indoor workout. We're planning ahead being inside tomorrow. Uh, but after all four of these exercises, uh, we're going to have 12 minutes of outside cardio. Take advantage of, of no rain yet. Um, again, this is going to be a student choice on what that cardio is. But again, just ask for 12 minutes. Uh, could be a lot of things. You can choose to run, you can choose to walk, you can choose to ride a bike, or you can cho choose a lot of other things as well. So it's kind of uh, up to you. We just want to get our heart rate up, we want to get our body moving outside uh, in, in whatever kind of form, and wherever you make, you know, maybe where you live has something to do with it, maybe have what you have access to has something to do with what your choice might be. So these four things, uh, with the fifth thing being uh, outside cardio. That's today's Wednesday workout, and those will basically go right into tomorrow's workout as well.